Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, welcome. My name is Ashley, I do a ton of project panning and makeup content in general. And if you are a returning fan, Thank you so much. I love you muches. So today we are going to be doing my first update in the deck of panning project pan. This is a project that was created last year by Emily. Her channel is Emily and Max. It will be linked in the description box below as well as books with Maddie's page. She is a booktuber. She actually started this concept. So this was her TBR game to be read so that she could decide what book she wanted to read next. And when Emily saw this game, she was like, that would translate so well to makeup use up. And she was very, very right. This project is so, so much fun. And so she reached out to Maddie, said, hey, can I adopt this, adapt it? Maddie was like, yeah, sure, go for it. And now you see the project that was created and it really, it caught fire last year. It did so, so well and I was so excited when she said that we were gonna bring it back again this year. She made a couple of tweaks and modifications to the game board and I'm just thrilled to be working on it. So as I mentioned, this is a game. So there is a game board and Emily does update it every single month. And there is a deck of cards. So you draw a card and that's going to correspond to the game board. But like I said, it gets shuffled around every month. So you could literally draw the same card every single month and always have a different prompt. So it's just this great way to kind of cycle through the things in our collection. If you're like me, you tend to fall in sort of the same makeup routine over and over again. And the thing that I love about like randomizers and panning games and things like that is it really challenges me to think about my makeup a little bit differently, dig in there, find the gems that I have forgotten about. And I love that. I love that so much. So let's talk about the items that I am currently working on. Now I'm working on six items, although the rules, uh, you start with five. I will have all of that information linked down below so that if you wanna join, you totally can. Um, but when I was doing my intro, I drew the card plus one. So now I have six. All right, so the first item that I'm working on is this right here. This is a mini of the Becca highlighter in the shade Moonstone. I drew this because I got the 10 of hearts last month, which is your birthstone. And I am a June baby, so Moonstone was what I went with. Now, I said I wanted to set a lofty goal of hitting pan. I really should have known better. I have hit pan on Becca highlighters in the past, I should have known what a tall order that was going to be. This does not look like I've used it at all. See, look, does it look used? Uh, hardly. I had used it prior to this project and since pulling it in, I have used it 16 times. I just forgot how finely milled yet firmly pressed Becca highlighters are, and I go in pretty heavy with the brush. I, you know, work it on in there, and it just is never ending, but that's okay. So I do still wanna hit pan on this. I am going to continue to work on it and continue to love it. It is just one of the most perfect sort of golden champagne sort of highlights. That's it right there. And as you can hopefully see, it's not one of those like over the top blinding highlighters. It just really gives this beautiful, healthy glow to the skin. And I really, really enjoy it. So still going strong on that baby there. The next card that I drew was the three of clubs. And for that, it was a cream product. So I pulled in this right here. This is from NARS. This is one of their Laguna uh, what is this technically? Oh, like I could possibly read that. Um, after glow lip balm, I think. So I wanted to use this up entirely and I have done that. So this is where it's at now. It's totally flush. Can't turn it anymore. Totally there. So that's exciting. This is now done and dusted and we will be rolling something in its place. I used it 31 times in order to get that completed and it's a new empty for this project. The next card that I drew was the three of spades. And for that, the prompt was 
uh, what was this prompt? It was balancing act. So it's a product that either gives too much or too little. So I pulled in this blush right here. This is from the brand Note. This is their Luminous Silk Compact Blusher in the shade 05 Desert Rose. This shade is stunning. Absolutely beautiful. This is the kind of blush shade that I always find myself reaching for and it's definitely the strongest within my comfort zone. It's kind of this peachy sort of neutral brown sort of shade. Really, really, really love it quite a bit. And it is my goal to use it 30 times. Now, just the tiniest little bit of this blush is all you really need. I will have this until the day I die, I'm sure. Um, but I do love it. So I have used it 15 times, meaning that we have another 15 to go before we can roll it out of this project. The next card that I drew was the Five of Spades, which was a concealer. And I pulled in this concealer right here. This is from NYX. This is their Bear With Me Concealer Serum. So I love the fact that this has an airless pump. That for me is really fun. I love airless pumps. So it is my goal to get it up to where the word serum is. So we're not quite there yet. You can see my lines right here. So we have a bit of a ways to go yet. I have used this 14 times since pulling it into this project. I did mention when pulling it in that this concealer I don't actually use as a concealer because it is right at my skin tone, if not just a smidge deeper. So for this, I am actually wearing it today. What I have been doing recently and just loving I cocktail all of my makeup as it is, but I will take a pump of this. I will take a pump of my Orc Skin Lust, Glow Lust, Glow Lust. I will take um, a little bit of a concealer that is too light for me, a little bit of a moisturizing serum, mix all that together and then use it as foundation and I've been absolutely loving the results. I think it looks absolutely flawless and I love it for that. So this will definitely be um, around with us for another month I'm sure and then we'll be able to move forward from there. So the next card that I drew was a jack of spades and that was a random color generator. I will make sure to pop up um, a screenshot of the color that I drew and the product that I drew to go, that I chose to go with it is this right here. This is my Tartlet in Bloom palette and I think you'll be able to see that the shade very, very similar. So I wanted to use this 25 times and I wanted to make sure that I used every shade in the palette at least once. So this is what it looks like. It is absolutely lovely. It is just one of your very just basic, everyday, easy to wear and easy to use palettes. And I feel like that is so very necessary in my life. So um, as I said, I did want to use this 25 times. I have used it 10 times and I've used all but two shades in this palette. Now, technically I have used this palette more than 10 times. I'm trying to avoid marking a usage when the only thing that I do is use this shade right here to set my eyeshadow base. I feel like that's cheating. I don't know, you guys tell me, would you feel like that's cheating? I don't know. So I want to use at least one other shadow besides that in order to count it as a use. I don't know. Is that silly? And then the final card that I drew was the Queen of Hearts, which is a project graveyard, meaning that it is a product that you had in a previous project and you either did not hit goal on it or you did hit goal, but you still want to continue using it. And I chose this right here. This is from Make It Forever. This is the step one skin equalizer. This is a primer. This is their smoothing formula. And I did like this a lot. It is gone. I didn't bother cutting it open because... I just didn't. I've got a ton of other primers to work my way through um, and getting just one more use out of this little guy here didn't seem, I don't know, necessary, I guess. But I did use this six times since pulling it in in order to get it completed, which means that we have two empties and gold nets for this project. Technically, because there are only a requirement of five products, I could just draw one card, but where is the fun in that? So, deck of cards. I will go ahead. I've already shuffled, but we'll shuffle again just to mix her up. Now, I do have both of my jacks in here. No, sorry, both of my jokers in here. So let's hope we don't get one. 
All right, so we have an ace of clubs. Go ahead and shuffle it down. And then we have, oh, jack of spades again. All right, so we've got two face cards. For the ace of clubs, that is <laughs> a freaking course. Add another, add another product. Oh, so I get to draw two more cards. And then the Jack is random color generator. So, okay. Um, let's find a random color generator. All right, crazy shenanigans. Let's go ahead and draw the two cards that I need to pull for my extra card choice. So. Let's go ahead and give a quick little shuffle again. We have eight of clubs. One more little shuffle. And we have the queen of clubs. Oh, the face cards. I feel like I didn't get any face cards hardly last year and now I'm getting them constantly. Okay, so the queen of clubs is to represent another project pan, okay? And then the eight of clubs, come on. Eight of clubs is a brand that you only own one of. Ooh, that one's gonna be tough for me. Okay, let me go find some items and then we'll come back and talk about them. All right, we are back and that was hard. <laughs> That was so challenging. It has been like an hour at least since actually drawing my cards. I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to pan. And I think the one that was giving me the most trouble was honestly the random color generator. So let's go ahead and start with that. That was for the Jack of Spades. I'll go ahead and put up a screenshot of what I got and the first thing I gravitated towards was eyeshadows, but I'm already panning so many eyeshadows. The thought of putting another one in just felt super daunting. So I was like, I know, let's do a nail polish because you know, I have a lot of green nail polishes, like green nail polishes. But here's the thing, I don't like panning nail polish. <laughs> I just don't. Even if I had a small usage goal of say like five, that's still like a whole month of only wearing the same nail polish and I am just far too fickle for that. So, eyeshadow one. So I decided to go with Morgana from Cleona Cosmetics. Like look at that beautiful shade. Oh, so pretty. And this is what it looks like swatched out. I mean, the reflect on here is ridiculous. It is so stinking pretty. So I'm going to set a usage goal on this of 10 uses. And I think going into March, this will be kind of an easier one to start to incorporate. I still think it'll take me more than a month, but this is, oh, so pretty, I love it. All right, so the next card that we'll talk about is the prompt to honor another project pan. and. I, that was easy knowing which project and what item that I wanted. I think the one that I'm most sad about not joining this year is Partners in Cream. I've done Partners in Cream for many years and this year I opted not to do it because I was trying not to overload myself, which <laughs> did not work. Um, but I decided to go with this right here. This is from Mally. This is the Evercolor Shadow Stick in the shade Burnished Bronze. This is what it looks like. I'm not gonna roll it all the way up and I'll tell you why in a minute, um, but this is honestly so stinking pretty. Look at that. Again, the reflect, so nice. So I'm gonna put a usage goal on this one as well. I'm going to use this one a total of, we'll go with 15 times. No, yeah, 15, 15. <laughs> Don't get too ambitious here. Okay, yeah, 15 times with this baby here. And then the last prompt that we are choosing for today is um, a brand that you only own one from. And that was, that was also challenging because I own a lot of makeup. But I found this eyeliner right here. This is from the brand Beauty For Real. I think 
this is the only item that I own from this brand. If I'm wrong, I apologize. I had subscription boxes for many years and many of them. So I have a lot of makeup that I didn't necessarily purchase myself. But let's hope that this is correct. So the reason I'm not going to roll the other stuff up is because I tried to roll this up and it wouldn't roll back down. So now it's kind of smashed, which is annoying. But this is really cool. I am really excited about this. So it's a brown eyeliner, but if you can see, it has like hints of red reflect in it. Really cool. Like it almost reminds me of like a duochrome in a little bit of a way. So yeah, super excited about that. And it stays very, very well. I, this is where I originally was swatching stuff. So yeah, I would like to use this 30 times. Ideally, I would like to, you know, wear away that top tip that I can't seem to get to go down. But 30 uses is what we're gonna go ahead and call it for this project. And I'm very much looking forward to using all three of these products. It just took me a really long time to settle on them. So there we have it. This is my update for the Deca Painting Project Pan. Again, all of the information is gonna be linked down in the description box below. Please make sure to check out both Emily and Maddie's channels. Give them some love and support. And as always, everything that I'm working on as well as everything that I am wearing is going to be linked in the description box below. And if you have not yet subscribed, I hope that you'll consider doing so. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope that you're having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.